You know, I mean, football is so funny. Um, you get goals because of the combination play, the connection and cohesion between the midfielders and the offensive players. And you also get the very same uh, goals with connection and co 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 cohesion between defense, midfield and strikers. So it simply says, when a centre-back has the ball, he shouldn't only get an option uh, in the midfield, but he must also get an option up front. So I think those are some of the things that we really need to understand that uh, we are under pressure, we are playing to win, and we are also trying to build confidence and believe that we can do well. And at the same time, there will be a lot of errors during this period. If you, if, you, if you remember, towards the end of the match, we got an opportunity where Spatella was in the box, he took a shot, unfortunately Sean missed the ball. So those are some of the things that will happen. But the most important thing is that there are two ways of winning in a tournament. You win to build confidence, you win to build belief. And when you win to build uh, belief, you, it, it, it's from matches like, like the match we've just played now, where we know that it was difficult to win it, but we forced to get the result. So uh, for me, I'm not worried about the number of opportunities we are creating and missing, and not maybe creating more. But I'm happy that there's a, uh, more of a, pro a progress that we see. And if we, if we can be uh, consistent, at the end of the tournament, we'll look back and smile. Coach Morena, just your thoughts on the reaction when you now had a, a numerical advantage. What did you make of how you handled the game in, in that period? I think um, to some extent we managed it well uh, because we did not change how we were playing while they still had numbers. But the only thing that I think we, we, we did also, we, we ended up being cautious as the technical team to say, um, as much as now the game is open, as much as they are throwing numbers and they are exposing uh, gaps behind, we need also to control the central space. That is why we introduced Patella. Uh, he's a centre back, but we needed someone tall, someone strong aerial to block those long balls which they wanted to play. So I think I would say being the first victory and manage the 2 1 under pressure, playing against people who are forcing, throwing everything at you and you manage to withstand that pressure and get the results, I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Yes. Coach, you are top of the group now with four points, one game remaining. What's going on the approach there? Do you play for a dog? Do you go for a kill? What's going on the I think, I think for us is to play for three points. And playing for three points, you don't even, now, now it's in our hands. We don't have to think of how they will play in this match, how they play in the last match. It's now in our hands. We need to make sure that uh, we collect maximum points if we want to win the tournament. If we can start thinking about playing a draw, then it simply means that we reduce or we drop the level we have set for ourselves. So I think it's, it will be very important for us to build momentum and get the three points in the next match. Coach, uh, what message would you like to give to supporters, uh, especially the reaction that they gave uh, Mabas, and what message would you give to Mabas as well? No, let's be honest. Um, South supporters in South Africa, uh, when you do well, they 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 support and they love you. When you make mistakes, they they tend to lose patience and start doing you. It is expected, but um, as a player, when things like this happen, that's where you say, uh, before this tournament, I was this good. So just an, uh, 45 minutes can't make me a bad player. Uh, unfortunately, maybe reasons of substituting Tseho uh, might be different from what people saw, and uh, reasons for playing Tseho might be different from what people think. When we played Tseho, we needed someone that can hold, but when we started to be desperate, that's when we said we no longer need uh, someone that can hold because it makes their line more, more stronger. We need to penetrate and provoke that line more. So for us to do that, we needed someone that can run. That is why we had to bring in uh, Letualo. Let's be honest, Letualo, some people were criticizing him in the previous match because he missed chances. So it's football. 
Tsekhu will come back and score a goal. The very same people who are criticizing him will start to, to clap hands for him. So let's understand it's football. Uh, supporters just want to see the team winning. Uh, it doesn't matter who scored and what. But what they want is for you to go out there and do your best. Tsekhu is a professional player. He knows that there will always be pressure, especially from supporters. But us as coaches, it's important for us to give him support and make sure that not only him, all the players, they, they need our support so that they remain consistent.